Hi, Flossy friends. How are you? Welcome back. I've missed you. Today is Friday, February 10th, and we have lots of good things, lots of good things to talk about. If we haven't met yet, my name is Daylene, and this is my channel where I talk about cross-stitch and a little bit of quilting and sewing and crafts, my grandbabies, my dog, my chickens, food, always food, and of course, what I'm grateful for. So let's get started. Let's start with food. <laughs> okay. I don't have one kind of cookie. I have two kinds of cookies. So come on over. Come on over. Okay. First of all, I have these delicious sugar cookies. Look at those. They're the really thick, moist kind. Oh, they're so good. Okay. And the sprinkles are so bright and colorful. Can you see those? Okay. When you go in the grocery store and you try to buy natural food, colored sprinkles with no chemicals, no harsh dyes. They're really dull looking and they look like they've been in the grocery store for three weeks. Okay, so I bought these, these little rainbow sprinkles. Look at the colors on them. They're so bright, really bright. And they're all natural colors like with turmeric, spirulina. And so you can have them. Um, there's no harsh chemicals. So yay, we can feed them to our kids and our husbands and we can eat them ourselves. Okay. So the second kind of cookies I have, it's going to be a little tutorial <laughs> right out of the bat, right out of the gate, a <laughs> tutorial. Okay. So these are nutty buddy bars. Okay. Look, at, I already took a bite out of one so you can see the inside. Okay. Okay, remember those uh, cookies you would buy from uh, Little Debbie? Okay, so they had a crispy layer or thin crispy layer and peanut butter. And then they were dipped in chocolate, that kind of weird wax chocolate that you didn't really like. But I don't know. Anyway, okay, I'll teach you how to make these. All right, get two Triscuits, plain, no flavor, the least amount of ingredients. And then you put peanut butter in the middle. And I make my own, but just use some with no sugar or whatever you can find. Whatever you have in the cupboard. How about that? And then I dip them in chocolate. I melt these. Lily's baking chips with no added sugar. So you can feed them to your kids, your grandkids, your husband. You can eat them. And then you just dip them in there. Put them in the fridge for, I don't know, a few minutes while you clean up. And then you have these fabulous chocolate crunchy peanut buttery and then the longer they sit the more the triscuit kind of soaks up the peanut butter so they're not as hard as a triscuit so it's like those like those little debbie ones you can make those for valentine's day for everybody you're gonna be the star you're gonna be the hit of the show yay all right those smell fabulous those smell so good i'm glad i already took a bite but i brushed my teeth afterwards and now i'm gonna go back and eat that one so Anyway, okay, let's start out with some prayers. Okay, um, I don't really know what to say. We need to lift our prayers, our good karma. I, I don't, whatever your higher power is, we need to pray for Turkey and Syria. Uh, the death toll this morning has gone over 22,000. God help them all. Uh, it's It's just, it's too big for each of us. We have to turn it over to a higher power. So, uh, And I would ask for a little bit of prayers for my friend Nisi Lynn. Uh, she's having a little bit of health issues, a little bump in the road. Uh, Donna Ray, we're, we're still praying for her. She's home from the hospital, nice and uh, healing and doing some grounding and uh, all the things to take care of herself. So anyway, okay, always use prayers. Um, good karma, white light, whatever you call it. We got to help each other. We're in this together. Okay, I'm going to start with some previous finishes, and I thought I'd start with some Valentine things. And you know, it's kind of interesting that when you do Valentine smalls, I did this one last year, you can't remember. I, I know that I did my, my initial, his initial, our last name, it's on a magnet, so it's stuck on this metal piece, um, but I don't remember who, what the designer is. If you want it, write, write me a note, and I will search and look it up and find it, so... Anyway, that's kind of a fun one. This one languished in my to-do box for years and years, and I finally finished one or two threads and made it into a pillow. I don't know why. It, I mean, just to finish it, it only took me a couple minutes. Um, this one, a little pillow. Oh, it just says love on the back. I thought it was going to tell me what year it was. I think this is one of those freebies. 
um, I don't know, I did a, a black little bead around the edges. It's kind of a fun one, kind of little. On that polka dot, that polka dot cross stitch fabric. Um, ooh, this one, I love this one. I made this one last year. And it just like, oh, it was supposed to be tied around this little button. I cross stitched the little button. And then when you turn it up this way, you can see the piece. And I had this piece of fabric for years and years. It was just this alphabet and I just sewed it onto the pillow. I just, I kept saving it and I never knew what it was for, but it was for this pillow. So there you go. That's a fun one. Okay, so this year I made two new Valentine things. One I completely finished and one I got, I finished, but I didn't frame it. Okay, so the first one, hold on here, let me move this, sorry. Okay, so the first one is by Birds of a Feather, and it's just called Love. So it's this one right here. I'm going to share this pattern. If you want me to still share, last year I had 27 that were never claimed. So I'm going to try it again. Um, so this one, got to write down your favorite bird. Write it in the comments, your favorite bird, Birds of a Feather. And um, I will send this pattern to you. Share. I will share. Here's how it turned out. This little teeny frame. Isn't that adorable? I added our initials. What was in there? Oh, there was initials there. And, um, oh, I, I had this little frame. It's just three by five. It's just really small. And I added, can you see the little X's at the bottom and the X's at the top and a little stitch in between there to kind of make the the pattern go a little bit longer so it fit into the three by five frame. Sorry, I keep forgetting where to look on this phone. I, okay, I need to look over at those elephants hanging in my craft room window. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, anyway, this is adorable. Only takes uh, a few minutes. They have lots of different um, threads, but you know, use what you have. There's just a few stitches on each one, so... That's kind of fun. I like the red frame that it was in, though. So, I don't know. I just had black on hand. So, Okay, so I'm going to share that pattern. Birds of a Feather. It's called Love. And I don't know when this was printed, but I don't think. Anyway, okay. If you want, I'm going to share. So, if you're interested, just leave the name of your favorite bird. How am I going to remember that? I'm going to leave that sticky note on there. That's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so then the next one. Oh, I love this one. Okay, this one is called uh, Prim's. It, oh, wait, what's it? It's called. Hold on. I know I wrote it down. Oh, uh, Miss Prim on Etsy. It's called Heart in Hand MP09. So you can just print off the pattern for yourself and um you know has just a few colors i love that it was like a little bit different color for valentine's and they had the year at the bottom i've already shared the pattern so uh it was like 1898 or something and i switched it to the year we were married and i kind of thought i was going to do like a little bag to hang on a doorknob or i looked for a frame i just nothing grabbed me so i'm just going to hold on to it i just love the pattern i love the flowers coming out of the top um, I love the heart on the hand. So I'll find something that, you know, that kind of sets it off. You don't need very many of these colors up here. So just use what you have. Um, but it just, it was charming. I love the colors. This one made me really happy. It didn't take that long to stitch either. And I don't think I took any of the stitches out. So it was a, it was a happy stitch. There wasn't any problems with that one. Okay. Ooh, I have six things to share today. I made, I made these zipper pouches. Okay. We'll talk about that later. I'm, I'm going to give away six zipper pouches and, um, maybe after I talk about a couple other things and then I'll, I'll give those away. So yeah, for, for, I will give away the, um, uh, or the, um, share that birds of a feather pattern. Okay. Oh, I have two more previous finishes. This one is oops sorry la -di da and it is called red heart sampler it's one of my favorite ones 
It says G I finished it June 14th, 2005. I believe the 2005. I'm not so sure about the June 14th. That's my son, oldest son's birthday. So, you know, me, I'm trying to slip in birthdays, initials, wherever. So they pick it to keep it instead of giving it to Goodwill. But, well, whatever. I'm going to enjoy it while I have it. How's that sound? Anyway, that's, that's a pretty one. I love that one. 2005. Oh, that's a nice one. That's fun. That was really fun. And then I have this one, which I think you've all seen. Okay, so I switched the date to the year we were married. And this is the pattern where I was showing it, I don't know, three years ago or something. 2019. I was showing it on my floss tube video. And I noticed that this letter E was dropped down. I don't know why. It was already in the frame. I'd already put the paper on the back. So I just left it. Anyway, it's quirky. I'm going to call it quirky. How's that? All right. So I can set this one. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, let me talk about three glorious finds. I already told you about my sprinkles. Isn't that cool that there's sprinkles that doesn't have chemicals and no carcinogens and no bad stuff and I can use them and the grandkids can sprinkle them on their oatmeal or on their um, waffles or their ice cream or their help me make cookies, whatever. Isn't, I love that. I got these on Amazon. I, oh, I should link that below. I'll link it below for you. I promise. Okay. Uh, here's the other glorious find, uh, the Dead Sea Minerals. When you're taking a bath, you can use the actual Dead Sea Minerals. Um, in the olden days, thousands and thousands of people used to go to the Dead Sea to uh, swim and soak in all that goodness to help us heal and repair all the things that were hurting. And it's amazing. And it's so cool. They sell it now in these buckets. You can buy, I think this was a five pound bucket. Yeah, five pound. And um, not too expensive, but I'll I'll do the link under there. I had been um, studying about adding carbon dioxide and more vitamins and minerals and things to your bath. And I made some bath bombs and then I ordered this. It's the best. I really like it. I like the company too. The company's really great. Um, oh yeah, and I have my third thing, my third glorious find. This is kind of weird because I haven't I haven't done a video in a while. I look, I got these earrings for Christmas. And I haven't even worn them yet. Okay, um, I always pick and buy myself a cookbook for uh the first of the year. That's what I do for January. And this is the one I chose. Uh be a plant-based warrior woman. So Jane and Ann Esselstein, we all know who they are. They have a great uh YouTube short. And they, they talk about, they make a lot of the recipes in here and their other cookbook. It has fabulous pictures. Oh, I already have dog ears. Oh, the Thai peanut sauce was so good. Really good. Really, really good. I highly recommend it. We, I think I've made it three times and it's only the middle of February. Uh, the rice noodle bowl is what I made. Fabuloso. So good. So many recipes. Yeah, the first of the year, I try to buy a cookbook. I kind of look through. Sometimes I check them out the library first but um, to see if I really like it. But sometimes I just buy it. And um, it kind of perks up my cooking. I, I get kind of bored with doing the same things over and over and over. So anyway, highly recommend it. Millions of great recipes. Well, maybe not a million. But anyway, they're great people. Healthy. Good, good things to add to your your lineup of the, the same old boring things that we cook over and over. Okay. Um, ooh, let's do the giveaway. Let's do the six things I did. Okay. I put them here because I thought, oh, I won't forget. Okay. So I I made all these zipper pouches. Remember we I showed you what these were? They were, um, oh, let's see if you can see one better. Here, this one you can see better. Okay. So it's just a little zipper pouch and I have these lace zippers I buy and then I filled them up with different goodies. So I'll show you, show you what I did. All right. So this first here, I'll use this first one. Um, I got these embroidery. They're 
uh, I can't remember. They were on Amazon, I think, these little thread keeps. And so I just stamped them with So Grateful. And then I added some floss and I wrote down what the floss was. And I have some tea and I have some stickers and I have some uh, floss tags of Miss Maisie's nose. I call them dog tags. I don't know. Probably shouldn't, but anyway. Oh boy, was she a stinker yesterday. Oh, the FedEx man came and she went out there. She got out through the door and as I was trying to reach for the package and he was saying hello and then she slipped by him and she ran across the street. And it just scared me so much. I was so mad and I was barefoot and I didn't, she didn't have her collar on. I went flying out the door. I, I guess I guess he just stood there. I don't know. I went flying out the door and across the street and I went over and she was behind the neighbor's house. And then I was so frustrated and I thought, how am I going to get her home? And I just thought, oh, her mother would grab her by the scruff of her neck. So I just grabbed her by the scruff of her neck and said, we are walking home, Missy, with good manners. And so I just pulled her along and she was like, if she could have talked, she, mom, mom, don't embarrass me. Like, mm. I was so, my heart was racing and I just said to the FedEx man, thank you very much. And I went in the house and shut the door and then I gave her a talking to. Oh man, it scared the dickens out of me. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to go on on that. Okay, okay, let's talk about these. Okay, so I made six of these and I want to give them away to you as a thank you. Okay, so that's the word you have to write on your, you have to write thank you in your comment. Okay, so, and you just need to, um, I'll, I'll draw the names and then I don't know what the heck. I comment on your comments, but then nobody writes me back and wants my giveaways. So maybe they're not great. I don't know. Um, anyway, okay, so I sewed all these. I'll contact you or somehow get my, send me, um, when I say you're the winner, I don't know what to do. Give me some suggestions, please. Um, because I really would like to share some things. I have a whole box of things that I gave away last year that nobody, none of the patterns, nobody wanted them. They're great patterns. Anyway, okay. Um, at the end of January, um, I have a celebration of this year's 10 years of my good health. And I got 500 comments and it took me a couple of weeks to answer everybody. And I wanted to say thank you. I wanted to say thank you for all of your encouragement and your kind words. And nobody said I was crazy. So that made me happy. <laughs> I think that all the time. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say thank you. And I didn't have a way to make 500 of these. I thought I'd lose interest. So I made six. So I'd like to give away six of these. I will draw six. Use the word thank you. Is that all I need to say about that? I think so. So, so far we're going to give away the uh, birds of a feather pattern and six of these. Um, Anyway, kind of fun, but thank you so much for all your kind words, your inspiration. Yes, I am in the middle of writing a book and some days are harder than others and I'm not an author. I never wanted to be one. I got tapped on the shoulder to say, this is your calling and that's what's keeping me going. But I don't know, it's kind of interesting and weird and different. I've never, never done that. So anyway, I'm taking a lot of time to do that. So I appreciate all the encouragement. Thank you very, very much. Okay, uh, let's see. Ooh, I got to go on a field trip. That was that on one of the things Mr. Wright said, what do you want to do? I said, I'd love to go to Acorns and Thread. And it's about three and a half hours from where I live. And so off we went. And I got lots of goodies. I don't know where they all are right this second. Well, I don't know. Hold on. Uh, I got this one. I got fabric and floss and I bought three patterns. One I've already finished. Um, this one is called Come Into My Garden Blackbird Designs. And I got the, the fabric, linen. I got the, the floss. This one's another bird birds of a feather. It's called bloom where you're planted. I don't remember if I got that one there. Anyway, that looked kind of springy to me. That kind of looked fun. I think I want to do that for spring. Okay. So the other one that I got there is called, Oh, I didn't take it out of that package. Sorry, Charlie. Um, it is called the pink sparrow sampler. And I did it, oh, I, what did they, they called for 30 count 
but I did it on 32. Um, on Victoria Sponge Cake by Legacy Linen. And that is um, at Acorns and Thread. And Janine, the owner, she's so nice. She's intelligent. She's got a great sense of humor. Her laugh is the best. If you're anywhere in the store and you hear her laughing, it, it just makes you smile. And the store is beautiful. She's expanded. Um, if you call them up, they're help. Even when you're in the store, you can hear the girls there helping people. Um, they're explaining the fabric that's there or, you know, over the phone and trying to help people with that. So anyway, I highly recommend. They do have a, a online store now that they've just started. So I don't know. That's kind of a dangerous, fun, happy thing. Okay. So pink sparrow sampler. I finished it last night. So I started January 21st or 20th and I finished last night. So it doesn't take that long. Um, it's a lot more intense colors than were on the pattern. I'm learning to kind of match my colors if I really love them on the cover. Okay. So this one color well, it's not looking weird. I'm going to sound like a crazy girl, I think. Okay. It is called burnt orange. And you're supposed to, you know, take the threads out and fussy cut, like not the brown parts, but the lighter colors. And to me, okay, you're just going to think I'm crazy. To me, it looked like it was neon orange and that's all I could see. But now in this light, even if I take it back here, I don't know. Okay, let's just be happy with this. It looks happy. I'm happy with it. I'm very happy. Anyway, pink sparrow sampler. I, I, you know, I know that's up there. It's not pink, but it has two purple or grape colored dogs. How come it's not called two grape colored dog samplers? But anyway, uh, and I changed and added the date onto it and my initials. Uh, I stitched in a different color. These, all of these letters were all different colors and the pattern was just making me like way too much was going on so I calmed it down a little by just using the I think it's raspberry frost in there so I used the called for colors and this fabric is beautiful Janine had quite a few pieces of this so oh I just thought it was so pretty it's kind of lighter than it was showing on there but then the oh yeah I don't know it's beautiful beautiful I'm a lucky girl that I got to go and then we got to go to um the taco truck they had the best tacos. Like I say, five star. It was like three or four napkins worth of really, really good taco. And I went back in there and talked to the lady. I'm like, thank you. It was so good. And she was really nice and friendly. And oh, it was the best. We got to go to a craft store and it was great. It was a great day. It was so fun. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do I want to talk about now? I think I'll talk about some floss tube friends. Okay. So some of them are new to me. Uh, a couple are new to me, but, um, some are just want to mention them. I think they're great. Okay. The first person is, um, Red Barn Samplers. Her name is Ray Niles and she's a designer of samplers and she's super friendly. She's Oh, so intelligent. Just beautiful charts, really beautiful charts. And her background's always beautiful. Um, super intelligent, great smile. Oh yeah. She teaches a, a technology tech tip at the end. I don't remember if it's called a tech tip or whatever, but she's, she really knows her computer. And so, um, I don't, have an Apple phone or Apple computer, but that's how she was teaching. But I just listened like with both ears. I really pay attention and I've really learned some stuff. So it's kind of fun. So at the end of her videos, that's what she does. She um, shares some kind of computer tips with some of us that might be a little bit older and don't really know all the computer stuff. And so at least I'm learning a little bit each time. So anyway, um, I, I really love her designs. There's some beautiful things. So go give Ray Niles a hi and tell her hello. Okay. The next one I have is the fanciful flamingo. Her name is Alicia and she's from Florida. She's got a great smile, kind heart. She always has a prayer uh, request in the beginning so we all can kind of stay on the same page and help others. She's really funny. She's got a great sense of humor. She's super engaging. You know, like when you, you get your stitching out, you get your coffee or whatever you're drinking, and then you sit down to stitch and then you don't stitch. You're like, 
paying attention to it. That's the best. They're like totally engaging. I love that. I love that. Um, anyway, uh, she's really fun and she has, she finishes a lot of things. I think she takes Friday to do her Friday finishes. And so she shows a lot of finishes or, um, not just pillow finishes, but a lot of different things, um, how to put things on boards and different, different ideas. And so anyway, always come away with some great ideas. Um, I think she has seven or eight, uh, videos. So you got plenty to watch. She's really, really friendly and fun and you feel good that you watched her. Okay. Uh, and my, uh, third suggestion, uh, are my friends, the antique needleworkers. Okay. So before I tell you who they are, this pouch sits with me. I put a little heart on it. Can you see that little heart? It's a little heart. It sits with me when I'm stitching. It's in my stitching bag all the time. It's full of sugar-free candy. I'm like an old lady. They're Werther's Originals. They're those little caramel ones. Because they don't make coffee nips anymore that are sugar-free. They don't make coffee nips at all. So I have to be the old lady that has the caramels. But they're sugar-free. Um... And inside this pouch, I always keep this picture. It's the picture of the pattern of this pouch. And on the back of it, it says a happy gift from 2019 from Shelly Fry, Ohio. She bought this kit at Shepherd's Bush and sent it to me. She was one of the ladies that followed me. And I thought it was so nice. I couldn't believe it. Like, really couldn't believe it. It was like shocked. So made that and I filled it with candy and I have that in my stitching bag. So when I'm stitching, that sits out there on the table or next to me on the sofa, what have you. Anyway, that lady named Shelly Fry, she and her friend Liz, um, they started a floss tube and it's fabulous. It's wonderful. They're engaging. Get out your stitching. Get Pour your cup of coffee. You're not going to pick up your stitching. You're not going to drink the coffee. Trust me. Okay. They're funny. They're intelligent. Um, Liz is really, really kind, intelligent. Uh, she's got a great smile. It's fun to be her friend. I, it, I'm really grateful, really grateful. And Shelly is um, quick-witted and funny and it's got the best laugh and uh, she lives in a house that next door to a grist mill and that's where her sewing room is her creating room her room where she stitches and does all kinds of things um they're great I'm so glad that they decided to do a floss tube and I'm jelly I, I admit it I'm jelly 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 of having two friends sit and talk and you get to be in the middle of their friendship and the the things they do to help each other remember each other when they're on vacation they bring little gifts and little things they make each other smile and laugh and it's the best. It's like you're peeking in on this fabulous friendship and they share it with all of us. So anyway, if you have some time, uh, stop by the antique needleworkers, Liz and Shelly. And, um, I don't know, you'll, 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 you'll write me a note and say, thank you. Yeah. That's how great it is. That's how great it is. So anyway, go, go check them out. You will enjoy that. Okay. I've got a couple of finishes. I already showed you the Birds of a Feather, the the little Valentine one. I showed you the Miss Prim. And I finished um, Francis Poole quite a while ago, but I just got it framed. I finally framed it. So I got the frame and I took the frame in there. So there you go. There she is. And in the cartouche in the middle, instead of what... Francis Poole's name and, and things. I put my sister's names and mine. So it says Daylene Marie, 1962, Colleen Marie, 1964, and Jolene Marie, 1966. Okay, so here's the picture that hangs with that. And that is me and my sisters. And my grandparents always had a beautiful rose garden. And they had a dahlia garden every year. And they live right on the beach in Washington State, up north towards Canada. Um, and we always played bride, always, for years and years, you can tell. My sister Jolene was always the bride. We got to dress her up and 
And uh, she always had a train, a beautiful train. My sister Colleen, she was the, always the maid of honor. And she got to hold the, the train and help my sister Jolene get ready. And there I am, always the, the bossy one, the oldest sister. I was the minister, the bossy wedding coordinator, the caterer. Let's, I made the lunch. We, <laughs> you know the drill. I made the bouquets. I was the florist. You know, I, I did all that. So anyway, so that picture goes with this particular sampler. So anyway, that is Francis Poole. And I did add the uh, the date to it that I stitched and finished it in 2022. And this frame, I know they're having some bad problems, but I got this frame from Custom Frame Solutions. And I was super happy with it. It came really quick. It was exactly what I ordered. Um, I like it. I like it really tightly um, close to the stitching. And so it's exactly what I wanted. So. Anyway. And then I finished it with the paper on the back. Actually, it's just wrapping paper and the little dots and the hook at the top. And remember the dots, keep it away from the wall so air can circulate around it and uh, and not get moldy or mildew on the back or whatever. Lots of air circulation. And that's Francis Poole. So, yay, finally finished. Finally, fully finished framed. Yes, that makes me happy. Okay. How am I doing on time? 31 minutes. Yeah. That's a lot of chatting that you have to listen to. Okay. I have some whips. So let's start with, and I did not uh, iron this one. This one is, um, I don't, I'm kind of crushed in here today in my sewing room. So I don't know how far back I can get. His eye is on the sparrow. There you go. I don't know what I'm looking at, so I am still working on it. I've stitched that angel three times. Yeah, three times. So there's lots of goodness in this in this stitch. I, I got a couple things to finish at the top, and uh, I just pick it up and add another another motif here and there. But um, my goal is to have it done by, um, by May 6th, my birthday. I started this on my birthday, so I would like to completely finish it. And, um, I'd like to take it back to, uh, Threadwork Needle Shop so that I can show, she's the lady that sold me the, the linen. So I'd like to take it back there, finished and show it to her. So that's coming along. That is coming along. And I get into spurts where I stitch on it for a couple days and I don't know, some other thing catches my attention. Something shiny, like little elephants hanging in the window there. So, okay. Uh, let's see. This one is, oh, Cathart Calhoun. And this is a Shakespeare's Peddler. And this year for Christmas, I didn't really stitch a Christmas design. I just, I, it just, nothing called to me. So this kind of was my Christmas stitch because there was so much red and green. It was really, really nice to work on. Beautiful fabric, beautiful um, thread or floss. Let me see what the, oh, you know what? Look at these little things. Mr. Wright makes these for me. It's the little code for the thread so I can just set it there and not flip back and forth on the pages. So nice. Oh, and another thing, this thing right here, my friend Catherine made this for me. I stick this there and my needle and scissors and extra floss just sit on that. I don't really know what you call these, but God bless her. That's a really nice little thing to have. Okay, so this fabric, oops, I'm kind of balancing all this, is, uh, picture this plus vellum, 32 count. And I started this September 1st, 2022. I do love vellum. That's a nice one. And this, um, the, the border matched up perfectly, went around really nice. Kind of reminds me of, um, you know, when you were in second grade and everybody was coloring some of the people in your class, there was like two or three people would outline the bird and then color it in. Yeah. That's how I feel. I outline, do the, do the border. And then I go back and fill it in. Anyway, she, that's a pretty one. That's really, really nice. Okay, so let me put 
just back in here. Yeah, this little thing is so nice. That was so nice of her to make that for me. Hmm. Um, okay, the other one that I'm working on is called... Um, oh, Miss Lucy Calcutt. Oh, oh, here we go. Mr. Wright made another one of those. See, I just keep that floss thing no matter what page I'm on. And then I can just refer to it without flipping back and forth a hundred times. Okay, so this one is on uh, light mocha linen. Oh, and this one I'm using all DMC floss. And this particular pattern I had in my one, two, three stitch, um, you know, in my cart, like I kind of wanted it. I kept thinking I wanted it. I love that border. The border was gorgeous. I love the pinks and the greens mixed together. Those deer. The house, of course, the house. I don't really know why there's a knife up here, but I don't know. Kind of funny. Anyway. Um, okay, so I love this. And I had it in my uh, wish list cart or just put it in my cart because I thought, oh, I kind of want that. And I hadn't, I hadn't bought it. And then out of the blue, one of my friends for Christmas sent this to me and I thought how did she know that I loved this I wanted this well, she went on one two three stitch and looked at my um wish list or cart or I don't know how you do it but she knew that it was in there and she bought it and had it sent to me isn't that the nicest thing I had no idea you could do that so now we can all look at each other's uh what you put in your cart and then your friend could just buy it for you for a little surprise or a birthday or something. But anyway, okay. So I started, I folded the fabric up and, um, Ooh, she's beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And let's see the color of the fabric is, I that's about the right dep depiction of it. Yeah. Anyway. That's nice. I want to get over to that. Um, I started in the center because I really want to make sure I had the correct amount of fabric. Um, but I want to get to that border because that border is what caught my eye all along and I really want to do it. So anyway, that's a good thing. That's a really good thing. Okay. What are we on to? Oh, grateful. I'm grateful for my red light therapy. Since we've been gone, I... I won't show you the before picture, but on my thumb, I cut my thumb completely open, split it right open to the bone. Ouchie, ouchie, mama. I'm really glad Mr. Wright carries a handkerchief with him. That's what I put on there. Anyway, um, I use my red light therapy for my health every day, but I use, I put my thumb like on the red light. Look, it's healed. It's really, it's taken three or four weeks, but it's totally healed. That's fabulous. I am grateful for that. Ooh, I'm really grateful that I put the bird feeders by the kitchen window. So when I'm doing my dishes, I'm like, like a little nature scene. It's like a National Geographic show or something. I'm like washing dishes. And, Look, there's a finch. Look, there's a, and it's, <laughs> it's the best. Ooh, fresh roasted coffee beans. I, I put a picture um, on my Instagram and I think Facebook. And I, uh, last week we went on a field trip to go get some re fresh roasted coffee beans um, and that particular town had some of those wings painted on the wall. That's the third different set of wings I've gotten to have my picture taken with. So anyway, I'm super grateful that I found it. And I kind of really hope it wasn't there the last two times I went. And I just was so close walking down the sidewalk. I didn't notice it or I don't know why, but anyway, I noticed it this time and I took a picture. I'm grateful. Ooh, Okay, here's something. I am grateful for my vegetable peeler. No kidding. I bought a brand new one. I think the health department would have shut me down. My old one had a little bit of rust on it and I tried to clean it with SOS and all that. And it really wasn't that. I mean, I peel vegetables every day, almost every single day. We go through 10 pounds of vegetables just juicing alone. And so I was like, I need a new vegetable. Finally, I ordered a new vegetable peeler for under $10 and it's so clean and so nice and the health department's not going to shut me down. So I'm happy about that. I'm grateful. I'm very grateful. And uh, don't forget about that birds of a feather uh, pattern that I'm going to give away. I think you're supposed to say your favorite bird. So that's kind of neat. And then I'm giving away as a gift these six zipper pouches with 
tea and some stickers and some floss in each one. And it you're supposed to use the word thank you. And I will go through your comments and I'm going to try to pick somebody quick, make a comment, pick the people. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but people aren't doing my giveaways. Maybe they're just not great. I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. This will be the first Valentine's Day in 42 years that Mr. Wright has been, is going to be gone. Isn't that weird? All the times he was deployed in the military, all the times he's been gone on business trips, and we've never missed a Valentine's Day. So we're celebrating all weekend. That'll be fun. <laughs> so instead of one day, we're going to have two days and uh, lots of treats and lots of good fun. So anyway, um, I'm glad I got to visit with you again. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to go eat uh, one of those Nutty Buddy Bars. Those are from 100 uh, Days of... 100 Days of Real Food. Her name is Lisa. She's the lady that does did that cookbook. And so, um, anyway, I'll, I'll link it below so that you can go check it out. But super easy, super fun. It'll make your family happy. So thanks for stopping by. We'll chat soon. Bye-bye.